Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So I'm out here just uh, you know like catching some sun after a short workout. There's a guy at the park who came inside, the same guy, not the guy I videotaped last time, but this is another guy. I'll show you a small clip. I took a video of him when he was coming towards the park. But I was just here reflecting. <laughs> you know what I'm, what I'm reflecting about? I'm reflecting about... I'm seated here watching the traffic. Let me show you. So there's... Let me put it at one. So there's traffic over there. There's traffic over there. So it's like a junction. So people are going to work. You know, it's the hustle and bustle of very early in the morning to go to work. And I was thinking, like a long time ago, men used to go to war. So I feel like this is their new war, like the 21st century war, because every, like almost every car that is passing, it's a man who is driving. They're going to work. Why are they going to work? To provide for their families. So I feel like it's difficult for men, wallahi, sometimes. They need to be, you know, uh, to be treated nice because they are going through so much. Like being in traffic very early in the morning, you know, they look miserable. This is the guy actually. He's still roaming around here. I don't know, it's not the first time I've seen this guy in the pack. Sorry, my, my thoughts were distracted. But anyway, <laughs> that was just my uh, reflection. We need to treat men nice because they are out here hustling very early in the morning. <laughs> like all these people are going to work. It looks very stressful. I don't even want that for myself. I don't want to be rushing every day to go the work beating this traffic and this is just the neighborhood traffic now imagine where they're going and this is istanbul turkey like it's one of the countries i mean the cities in the world with the worst traffic so men are really going through so much like to provide for their families who who would want this i would want to go back and sleep you know like i would want to sleep but they can't sleep because they have families to provide for so I feel like women should appreciate their men. For those who are married, I cannot relate because I'm not married. <laughs> but if I was married, I would really like love to, you know, like tell my husband, I'm really proud of you, man. <laughs> I'm really proud of you for waking up in the morning to go to work. Because it's it's a lot of work. Like it's a lot. Like people are out here looking sad. People are out here looking tired. Everybody has a cigarette in the car smoking. Very early in the morning. You know, and me, I'm out here trying to catch some sunlight. You know, there's three. There's three essences I've learned this week: spiritual, sunlight, eh, spiritual, sweat, sunlight, and smiles. That's gonna be my motto this week. <laughs> today is Monday, Alhamdulillah, and I'm fasting today, so I really hope I I survive the day because I was sick the last two days. I had like food poisoning, but Alhamdulillah, today I feel better. So, yeah, that's my reflection this Monday morning. Let me just give you a glimpse of the traffic a little bit again. It's fascinating. Let me lower the light. Oh. There, traffic. So there's a junction there. There, there is a junction. Okay. These guys have to go, the other have to go, some have to come, these guys are coming. It's just too much. Anyways, let me enjoy my this sunlight that is coming through that space. Sabah al khair, my beloved. We're drinking some green juice. <laughs> the struggle the struggle continues the struggle continues today's Wednesday is like 8 8 20. I love this profile. I'm not profile. What is it called? I love my my wallpaper. It's like a black cat under. Bismillah <laughs> ar-Rahman. 
Mm, it's not cold enough. I need ice cubes. Anyways, today is Wednesday. I have some work to do. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, yesterday was Tuesday. I didn't do so much. I just did some housework. Laundry, cooking, going to the market, yada yada. Same old routines. So yeah, we are still on the no breakfast thing. Like I haven't had like proper breakfast in a long time. I don't have breakfast anymore. I just have fruits, chai, and my green juice. That's it. So I'm gonna make tea. I already have my fruits, same fruits. Um, let me lower it down a little bit. So I have strawberries, peaches, and figs. Peaches is is like on the last stretch. It's going. It's finishing because fall is here already. Bismillah. So the season for pictures is going to be finished soon. So we're gonna eat all the pictures that is left. So yeah, today I'm gonna to go to the market. I need to sort out some issues with a client. So I'm gonna go probably early today so that I can finish early and come back home early. So yeah, that's the plan. Uh, by the way, by the way, this client I'm actually going to like do his job he has a store in, in in uk in bradford he has a very big uh, islamic store it's called islamic uh, safa islamic spy if you're in uk and you're looking to buy like abayas anything to do with islamic even islamic home like decorations and stuff like that he has them in that store i'll put the name of the, the instagram page here he's an amazing guy mashallah he's from pakistan but he has a very nice business in uk so you can support him because you know he's doing good for the ummah <laughs> he's bringing you guys like modesty outfits so you can go check it out he sells perfumes like uh decorations for the house like everything it's called safa islamic style it's in uh, if you go to the instagram page you'll find the location of the store so that's the uh, the client i need to do his work today and then i have another indian client i need to go finish I mean, not finish, actually start. <laughs> like, start. And it's officially school. Uh, school season. Schools have opened. Kids are going to school. It's hectic. So, yeah, that's the, my morning. My Wednesday morning. Uh, how many Wednesday morning is going so far? Today, I also did... Uh, I didn't go outside. I just did yoga. I did vinyasa yoga. You know what is vinyasa yoga? Vinyasa yoga. <laughs> vinyasa yoga is the one that I'm doing to stand on my head. And today I actually stood for a, like a couple of minutes. Like I was so impressed by myself. I was like, yes, finally. You know what I was trying to tell my mind when I'm doing it? I'm like, Fatma, you need to concentrate. You need to focus. Uh, because I'm, I'm scared I'm going to fall because I'm standing on my head. So the focus is on the wrong uh, things, like I'm focused on falling, I'm focused on not being able to stand on my head instead of focusing on my core strength. I'm like, Fatma, you need to make sure your core strength is very strong. And then when, like when the hands are down, instead of letting all your body, uh, the weight of your body to go on your head, like press your hands on the mat, try to like move your head away from, from the surface. You know, so like you, get, you don't get like, you know, like headaches and stuff like that because you're standing on your head and it's not easy, you know, and I don't have that thing where you put your head on, like in a hole. I don't have that thing. I'm not yet that. I haven't reached that level of yoga yet, but I'm going there, inshallah. <laughs> and I saw someone say I should show you my yoga like routine. Why? <laughs> Why you want to see my yoga routine? I actually do yoga with this girl called Maddie Morrison. She's from Germany and I've actually learned a few German words. Like I know when she says say good, it's like like good, like that's good. And then when she says hello Litten, I think it means like hello friends. And what other word have I learned? I keep repeating myself sometimes. That's how much you know I've been listening to her for like a quite some time. And she says this was Nochmazo. Nochmazo, like like when I'm when I'm doing like I'm I'm doing like the raising hands like this and then she says no and then it's like I'm, I'm assuming it's like again because i'm watching you know and then she says um she says what again she says aina aina 
Hey, Aina, I don't know what Aina means, but I feel like it's the same. German is hard. But the good thing is she's showing, so I can see, you know? So, yeah. I cannot show you my yoga routine because that's me time. That's, that's an act of love for myself and my body. It's not a must I share with everyone, you know? But yeah, I love yoga and I like to do yoga and I would love to do yoga. I've been doing yoga, this is the third year. I need to, I feel like uh, I need like three more years to be like really flexible. That's how long I need, you know? So yeah. You can try yoga too. I do yoga with uh, Maddie Morrison most of the time. I do the one, the, like there's one where she doesn't speak and then there's one where she speaks. Some videos she speaks, some videos she doesn't speak. If I get bored of Maddie Morrison, I do yoga with Adrienne. There's so many people who teach yoga on YouTube. It's free, you know? So it's fun. Anyways, let me have my breakfast and then I'll catch you guys outside. I'll show you guys the store I'm actually going to. They sell like modesty outfits too. And it's both wholesale and retail. So if you come to Istanbul, it's in the touristic areas. You can actually buy from them. You can buy anything. They have like big stores and their prices are fair. It's not that bad. So I'll show you the store. Maybe I'll vlog it for the other YouTube channel too. I am not sure. I'll see when I go outside how excited I am to vlog. So I'll see you guys outside. The weather is so beautiful, it's not sunny anymore, it's like windy and nice. People always confuse me for an Arab, like a lot of Turkish people and a lot of um, Arabs confuse me for an Arab, especially when I'm wearing a baya. I don't know why, I need, I, I am black and I love being black and I like to identify myself as a black person. But all the time, the Turkish people, majority of Turkish people, not all of them, some people can actually guess I am Somali, but the majority of the people they guess I am I am Arab. Which is very funny. Anyways, let's go to work. So guys, I'm going to that store and I have to use a shortcut. I'm going to go through this way all the way up. That store is actually near Suleymaniye Jami, which is one of the most beautiful mosques you'll visit when you come to Istanbul. And apart from that, you should also visit that store. So I'm going to walk inside this uh, corner's corner. This is also the busiest street you can pass by. They sell everything, even birds. Literally, they sell birds. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to walk all the way up because it's an uphill. So it's an exercise. How much do you sell your bags? They're so beautiful. Oh my god. Allah, there's big ones up there. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, it's so noisy. <laughs> Arab, no, no Arabic, English. I only speak English. Oh my god, these guys are selling leeches. Can you see? Arab Arab I don't speak Arabic. So I just walked out of the Egyptian market. If you are coming to Istanbul and you're looking for fake jackets and fake jumpers and everything, this is the area you should actually come to. It's just behind the Egyptian the Egyptian bazaar. So me I'm just walking. Because I'm avoiding the um, like the crowds, so I'm trying to use as many shortcuts as possible. You know what? You see, he's speaking to me in Arabic because I'm wearing an abaya. <laughs> oh, and then the, you know assumptions, assumption of an Arab, an Arab in Istanbul has plenty money, so they always think I have money. They want to rip me off. Brother, I am from Africa. <laughs> I don't have money. So, the store is actually there. No, there. Let me show you. So the store is there, it's called BYM Fashion. But I thought, let me go and pray. So this is the masjid, guys. It's so beautiful. Allahumma barik. I 
we're gonna pray now. I feel like everyone was complimenting me for my look, so let me give you an OTT. So this is the store. Maraba Abla. Where is um, Bah Bah Bah? Bahar, yes. <laughs> I forgot the name. So this is the this is the wholesale area, by the the wholesale section. But they have a retail uh, like one one items. Uh, so they have nice, cute little outfits. I don't know if my camera is doing any justice. This is an interesting outfit. Oh, this is beautiful. I would love to wear this for fall. It's cute. So let me show you this side, the fall side. The... So they have sweaters, and you know, like this is for like fall and winter section. Bahar, how are you? Why don't reply me? I will cancel order. Yesterday I texted you. I th yesterday you called me. Or? Yeah. I said I was very busy. <laughs> but I'm here now. I came. Yeah, I know. But many models finish it. Really? Yeah. No way. So let, let me call the client. Okay, let me call the client and just tell him that your order is finished so that he can send the money. <laughs> no, not all. Some? Yeah. Okay. Just model. Where's the wholesale store? I mean the retail, the tech tech. Downstairs. Down like here? Yeah. Okay, so this, the, the retail one is downstairs, but this is the wholesale one. They also sell scuffs. I like this scuff. Let me show you guys. This one's with pearls. They're so cute. Okay. It's like two in one. For those who want to be extra modest. If you want to be extra modest, they have like the niqab. Oh, even with that. So this is the scarf. Then it has the the inner thing and the outer thing. The dress is also so cute. 